make it do it makes us harder better faster stronger We've had a very good fall, as you mentioned, you know, coming off last year's run to the, the conference, uh, you know, cha championship. You know, the fall, our practice, the guys came back, um, again, you know, ready to go, in good shape. Uh, uh, but just seeing the, the difference from a year, a year ago, the maturity, um, uh, and, you know, again, they've had a good fall, working hard. Um, and we've got a few guys who are, are banged up. We're trying to get them he healed up. Nothing major at this point, but, you know, we're you know, trying to get some guys healthy. Uh, but as I said, overall, it's been a great fall. The guys on the field, off the field, in the classroom, you know, they just have really matured. And it just makes us that much more excited, you know, waiting, you know, can't wait for the season to start. He is the guy that I'm sure most teams are going to start. When, you know, how do you defend Stony Brook? They're going to look at him. They're also going to look at Kevin Crawley, you know, the midi. Um, uh, the, the two of those, uh, the two of them have been right from the first game when they played Virginia, you know, two years ago, and one had four goals and three assists, and the other one had three goals and four assists. They've been scoring every since. I think they've combined for the first two. I think they, they're av between the two of them. They're scoring 100 points, 100 points a year, and that's you know, <laughs> and they're only juniors now, and so to know that you know they're going to come close, I would think um, to that, and you can kind of not count on it, but you know, you know, I think you know it's, it's going to be awfully tough to stop them from get, getting their points. Um, they're going to be the, center, the focal point, the centerpiece, if you will. Um, but what we're excited about is the other guys around them, you know. And again, a lot of these guys played last year. The same crew's back, more confident. You know, a lot of these guys, you know, some were freshmen, some of them were, uh, you know, guys who've been in the program for a year, and now it was their turn to, you know, the play. So they're playing for the first time, and so now we have that experience, and again, that confidence that goes with it. Um, and so we feel like our offense, which you know, going back to last year, earlier we weren't as good, and that was understandable. But down the stretch, we were scoring a lot of goals, and um, it looks like um, you know we're only going to be better. Of our team has been Steve Waldeck. He was last year our MVP. Um, he's just unbelievable. A ground ball machine. Um, very good one on one. Very good making plays, knocking down passes, and you know, bringing a physical presence. Um, he is an outstanding, and he anchors that defense. Um, but we're excited. We think, and there's the area where we, we feel like we got to make some improvement is you know, trying to keep that score down a little bit. Um, um, and we think the fact that we have, you know, Steve leading the way, but also uh, Charlie Parr in the goal, who was with us a year ago. But, you know, going from Nassau to Stony Brook, I think, you know, we were excited about him, uh, we, you know, when we first, when we first committed. Uh, but there's... You know, there's an adjustment, not just from high school to Division One, but even in the, at the junior college level. And so we feel like he is going to have uh, a great year. Um, but it all starts with Steve, uh, right? You know, again, not just on the defensive end, but uh, on, uh, on the team uh, in general. Um, he's the guy where it starts, and um, we're looking forward to him having a, b a big year. Don't act like I told you. Don't act like I told you. We think there's a couple of guys, but look out for Robbie Campbell. He's a sophomore mid midfielder from British Columbia. Um, he has he's been great this fall. He's bigger, faster, stronger. Again, that confidence from playing, you know, having that year under his belt. He's just been from the first day of fall practice. He's just been a different guy, you know. And um, we think he's going to be, you know, in terms of our dominant players. And it's not going to be like a score like Jordan or, or Kevin. He's just going to be a, just. Offense, defense, between the lines. Uh, he's big, fast, strong, confident. He's going to be uh, Kevin's right-hand man with the first midfield, which he ran with Kevin last year. And they'll work the two-man game a little bit, you know, a little bit of that Canadian flavor. I feel good about my team. Then I look at our schedule and I'm going, oh, man, you know, we're going to have to play well to win this game and win this game and win that game. Uh, but, you know, um, Lacrosse now, it's it's you know, a lot of parity. I mean, there's the upper upper tier, upper class, if you will. But there's just so many good teams year in and year out. And and you know the days of you know looking at your schedule and and you know saying ah, I think we got a good chance to win that game. If you don't show up and play and play good lacrosse, you can lose to anybody. Now the flip side is if you show up and do play well, you can beat anybody. And so for us, our goal we're trying to play at a level. You know we're trying to you know take our game to another level, play at that level and uh, see where it takes us.